Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get the best FPS performance in MCCI, so yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, we're just going to search up Feather Client Download, and we're going to install Feather. The process is pretty straightforward, I'm just going to install this, I already have it, so yeah, it's going to be, I'm just going to click this, and you're going to install it, it's just pretty straightforward. After installing Feather Client, what you're gonna have to do is uh, launch it. We're first gonna try it with Optifine. Then we're gonna install the Sodium mods because uh, some people have better FPS with Optifine and some with uh, Sodium. I usually have better FPS with Optifine for some reason. I've tested it out multiple times with different settings, and Optifine just gave me better results. So yeah, just launch it. I'm gonna show you the best settings. After getting in uh, Feather Client, what you're gonna have to do is uh, go to Settings, Video Settings, and I'm gonna explain every single one of these and how are you gonna put them. So graphics, you're gonna put them to fast since it doesn't really have a difference between fabulous and fast in looks, but it does in FPS, so it's better to put it in uh, like fast because you get better FPS. Now smooth lighting. Smooth lighting helps in uh, shading the game in blocks. So if you want your game to look like better, you're gonna put this to maximum. But if you're in desperate need of FPS, just put this to off. And smooth lighting levels. Uh, this only works if you have like uh, this turned on on maximum. So yeah, just keep this to 75 or 100. Just keep this to 75. GUI scale is just the GUI. Let's keep this to 2 usually. Yeah. Brightness, just keep it all the way to full. Dynamic lights, li dynamic lights, keep this to fast. Shaders, just turn this off. Make sure that you have this off. Details, clouds off, trees fast, sky off, sun and moon off, fog off, you moving off. Auto save indicator, just keep this on, I guess. Magenta fast entity distance, keep this to 100. If you're in need for FPS, just drop the, this to 50. Just keep this to 100. Cloud height, uh, I usually keep this off because I have clouds off, of course. Rain and snow off for better performance. Stars on, keep this, keep stars only on if you have like a custom sky, like a resource pack. So yeah, show capes on fog start the 0 0.8 this only works if you have like uh fog turned on doesn't matter if it's two two or eight if fog is off health item tool tips off swap colors off alternate blocks on biome blend off this is blends blocks between biomes just keep this off give it gives better performance so yeah do animations, copy all of these, and make sure that uh, the particles are decreased uh, so they give you better performance. But if you're in need for FPS, just put this to minimal. But I would recommend you to keep it decreased because you can sometimes not see some important particles. So yeah, just keep this decreased. If you can, ha if you can, like still run the game in good FPS. Render distance. Uh, if you have a mid-range PC, just keep this at 5, but you're, if you're in need for FPS, you can put this at 2, I mean at 3, because if you put it at 2, you cannot see anything, just put this at 3 minimum, but if you're in a really, really need for FPS, just put this straight up at 2. I usually keep this simulation distance at 6, so yeah, max frame rate, unlimited entity, shadows off, attack indicator, cross share, dynamic pop off, quality, just quality that I keep, you can copy these, just pause the video or something, so yeah, performance, uh, so I'm gonna explain all of this, and you can copy these, because they're not as important as these, you can just copy them, so chunk builder basically is the render of your game, if you keep it at threaded, it's gonna 
under your game uh, while you a uh, while uh, in the background and this sometimes gives like invisible blocks while you're building so this is the best performance the threaded version but uh, it, uh, you can sometimes get glitchy blocks so I keep it at fully blocking but this decreases your, your FPS by a little so if you're in need for FPS just put this to threaded and just keep it fully blocking and the other is just it doesn't matter so I'm gonna show you the FPS I'm just gonna go into a game so after getting in game what you're gonna have to do is go to price right shift it's under the enter key then go to then go here and type pause bar make sure it's turned off because uh, this turns off the bar on top when you get in sky battle in other game modes and this gives up a ton of FPS so after that you're gonna need to go to scoreboard this is what happens when you turn it on the thing on the right turns on and it decreases your FPS by like 20 30 so you make sure you have that turned off too sorry guys but my audio was not recorded in this clip but right here I'm showing uh, how I get more FPS with a scoreboard and the boss bar turned off so yeah just keep watching if Optifine didn't work guys now we're gonna show you the best settings for sodium mod but first off we're gonna have to download all the mods which are gonna be listed in the description first off we gotta download all of them we're gonna start with lithium I guess just go to files over here and then press download this should start automatically downloading in 5 seconds now then go to files After the mods have been downloaded, they should be listed here. All uh, five of them. You're gonna press right click. You're gonna select them with your mouse first. Press right click, press cut, and then go here to the feather client. Go to mods, then add own mod. Just take a little. It should open down here, the folder named 1.19.2 fabric you're gonna press right click and press paste and uh, all the mods should be added down here now before launching you're gonna need to disable optifine since optifine doesn't work with sodium and yeah just turn off optifine make sure optifine is turned on now let's just get into the game after getting in a game, we're gonna go to settings, top right, then video settings, and you're just gonna copy my settings over here in general first. Render distance 5. If you have a bad PC, just put this to 3 or 2. Usually just leave it at 5, you won't need more. Simulation distance, leave it at 6. Brightness max screen resolution leave it to default GI scale leave it at whatever you want sub reference full screen yes vsync off max frame rate put it to max view moving off attack indicator cross share auto save indicator checked then you're just gonna copy these the quality section just gonna pause the video After copying these, you're going to go to performance and have everything here checked. And chunk update threads, just leave it default. And go to advanced. First one is async, second one is checked. CPU render head, leave it at 3 frames. Hello direct memory access, leave it checked. Now animations 
all of these off. Just press the first one and then all of these should be eject. Now I'm gonna go slowly here as you copy these through the video. These are just some animations. You can leave this off, but this gives you some better FPS. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now in details, just turn these off. If you want a custom sky, turn this on. As I stated previously, in render, just copy these. And then in extras, So yeah, that's pretty much it for the settings. Now we can play in FCI. For some reason the audio wasn't recorded in this clip too, I don't know why, but I'm also showing here uh, the FPS with uh, the boss bar and the scoreboard turned off versus when it's on. So yeah, you can see that it's better when the scoreboard is off and the boss bar is off too, so yeah, just keep watching.